Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I am here at my house in Orange County, New York, and I'm already gonna apologize for the background noise. I live in the woods, and uh, you got the deer fighting right now out there doing something, I don't know what they have to yell at each other about. I got the birds, and I got some bugs, peepers going off crazy right now. All of a sudden, since I push the record button, it seems like in this house or in the yard, all hell breaks loose. So, sorry about that ahead of time, but, I want to put this video out there because I get a lot of questions at pilotfun101 at gmail.com. Drop me an email if you folks want any questions answered. Uh, if, if I don't get back to you right away, I will get back to you. I'm trying to find you the question or answer, I should say, if I don't know it. So pilotfun101 at gmail.com for any questions. So questions I get. Uh, four place over a two place, which means four seats over two seats, vice versa. Uh, complex airplane, not complex airplane. Uh, fuel injected, not fuel injected. What do you, what, what's, what, you know, what's, what's, what, what do I do? And what, why did I pick the Mooney? And what's, you know, what do you think? Um, well, I think the question I'm going to ask all of you is here at one time, what is your mission going to be? What's your goal with the airplane? Um, are you just going to go get, you know, some time to uh, fly commercial or going to school? You want to build up some time. Uh, then you're going to buy a 150, 152. You can buy a Roman Yankee, a 1A. It's a great time builder because they're, they're five and a half, five gallons per hour. And you can do a lot of time building with those. Or are you going to uh, buy something that you want to uh, achieve a goal with? Um, you know, is it, is it you want to fly places far and fast? Do you want to bring some family with you or not all the time, maybe a couple times a year? Those are the questions you have to ask yourself. Um, I can only go by what I did because I went through the process and everybody has their own process. Everybody has their own opinions. So I'm going to kind of go by with what, what I did. My mission statement was to A, enjoy aviation. Um, I. When I got my license, folks, it was the best thing since sliced bread in my eyes. It was a, just a great thing to accomplish in life. It really is. Um, but I wanted to build up some time. I wanted to, you know, get my hours up and, and to kind of uh, uh, fly locally. I didn't really want to go anywhere far um, at the time, I should say. Now I'm all over the place. Uh, but and, I was like, you know what, let me go try to find a Yankee a, a Grumman Yankee AA-1A, which I did. And I had a friend of mine who had one, flew it, loved it, great airplane, short wings. You have to come over the fence at 80 miles an hour because it falls up out of the sky like a rock. And you got to take off about 75 miles an hour. It's just how the plane is, short wings with no horsepower. Uh, but I did I had a lot of fun with it. Um, had those for a long time. And But then I was like, you know what, I want to go complex. I want to get places faster. I want to have the option of having a four place. Um, in case I want to bring people, because there was a couple times I wanted to bring some friends, I couldn't, because the, Gr the Grumman Yankee AA1A, you can barely have two adults in it on a hot day, of course, it's even worse. Um, so what I did was, I did a lot of research. I'm a research guy, I read, I, I try to get you know the best bang for your buck, because you're spending a lot of money, you're not buying a pair of shoes. Um, so I did a lot of research, I looked at arrows, looked at Comanches, I looked at all, all kinds of stuff. Um, you get opinions from everybody, which is great. Um, and I kept on going back to the Mooney, and everybody says, why the Mooney? The Mooney, in my eyes, in my opinion, and I'm trying not to be biased, I have one before years, January 3rd already, believe it or not. I went through the log books yesterday, and I'm, January 3rd, uh, 2017, I bought the Mooney. I can't believe four years went by that fast. Um, and I wanted efficiency. I wanted to be able to go fast and not go fast. I wanted to be able to carry four people if I choose to carry four people. I didn't want a heavy maintenance load. I didn't want to have a plane with a lot of ADs out there because that can that can creep up to you and, and give you some issues. Um, and I just I, I, I don't know if I just mentioned this or not. I already forgot. But efficiency, <laughs> because the Mooney, you know, doing 145 knots, folks, and 75% power, and you're burning not. That's just raised to nine gallons an hour. You can lean it back a little more if you wanted to. You could do whatever. I always on a trip. I will calculate. 10 gallons an hour. I always have extra, um, a lot of extra. Uh, but those would, that's what I wanted. And the Mooney is a little bit more smaller inside. Everybody knows that. Um, but again, my mission was I wasn't caring for people all the time. I carry four people, honestly, folks, probably four adults, probably three, two, three times a year. The rest of the time, it's me. <laughs> 
<laughs> and maybe a co-pilot, you know, a friend of mine, or maybe three people a couple more times a year. It was nothing crazy. Um, so I don't mind a little bit of a, a, a snuggier cockpit. I really don't care. Um, I love the fact it has a great safety record. The Mooney has a, a phenomenal safety record. Um, not one Mooney broke up in flight. Uh, it has a roll cage built in. So if you have a really bad landing or you have an issue and you roll the airplane, you know, hopefully you won't get beat up, you know, as much as we didn't have a roll cage. Um, and the smoothness of it, folks, it, it, it flies smooth. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, take one out for a ride, I, you know, I don't know how, you know, is, you know, the, the ailerons and the rudder is, they work together. So you're making a left or right turn. The, the, the aileron, obviously up and down, left and right. Um, but the tail also works with it. So it's a nice, smooth uh, turn. Um, and the other way, obviously, left to right. And it's all push rods, you know, and you know, you're basically turning like this and the thing is gonna go left and things gonna go right. Instead of going, you know, all the way to right or left. Um, so it's a smooth looking plane. It's a sleek airplane. Uh, it looks really cool in the sky. It looks really good on the ground. And that's why I pulled the trigger on one. And I, it took me a while to find one. And it, I'm gonna tell you folks, it's, you find a good Mooney out there and you're looking at Moonies, you've been looking forever, pull the trigger quickly because they go quickly and they really do. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, maybe $10,000 more than a, say a, a well-equipped um, Arrow or 250 Comanche because how they are. Um, very little ADs, a lot of them you can get rid of, you know, with some updates, and a lot of them are already updated. Uh, so it's, it was great for me. And I went, I had a two place and I went to a four place. If you are just going to fly locally, okay, you just want to do your 50 mile out here and 100 miles over here once in a while, and you want a two place, go for it. I mean, there's a lot of great two place airplanes out there um, that will run you five, five and a half, six max gallons per hour. Um, you're not gonna get your speed out of it, but if you're looking just to, you know, putz around the area, they're awesome. You know, Cessna, um, Grumman is a really cool airplane. You get the little sporty look in the Grumman Yankee. Um, you have the cockpit is pretty big inside and it's only two seats and you have a full, you know, you're, it's all open. Um, I, I love that airplane. Uh, but my mission changed and I want to go, you know, up into the complex uh, air. So I get some questions on my first plane, what should I do? Uh, do I buy a, a timer, you know, builder and or I, I eventually want to get my complex anyway or, or do I get a complex first? And honestly, folks, the Mooney flies like anything else. It flies like a Comanche, it flies like a, a Cherokee. Um, only difference is it's faster. So things come up faster. You gotta be ahead of the plane a little bit more quicker. You have gear to worry about. Um, you can forget about the prop and landing. Leave the prop out. Leave the you know leave the mixture out a little bit. Forget, forget to do all that stuff. You need to watch that gear. The gear is most important. And a lot of people mess up the gear when they're doing pattern work. It happens all the time because you're so used to touch and go, touch and go, gear up, gear down, and all of a sudden you're pulling the RPMs back, your buzzer's going off because you're used to the buzzer going off to slow it down in the pattern, and all of a sudden you leave the gear up because you're so used to hearing that beep sound, you end up landing gear up, and it happens quite often in complex airplanes. That's the only difference. So if you have the money and you want to buy an Arrow, you want to buy a Mooney, M20C Ranger is an awesome airplane, you know, the short body, uh, it flies all the same. You know, the speeds could be a little bit different, you know. Um, with the Mooney, and I get a lot of Mooney questions, that's why I keep saying Mooney. Um, yeah, you gotta slow it down. It's it's a lot, of, like I just did a, a pattern uh, video, I think two videos ago. There's a lot of going on. You always have a lot of things going on. Uh, prop, you know, gas undercarriage, mixture prop, speed, seat belts, flaps, all that stuff. And you always gotta be ahead of it because if the Mooney flies through the pattern. But if you have the cash, and you have you know, the ability to go up with an instructor and learn how to fly a complex airplane. Go for it right away, folks. I have a friend of mine who has 95% of his hours in a Mooney. Um, and started out, I think, in a Cessna for a little bit in training, but bought a Mooney right away. And at least you will have that out of the way. And then if you wanna go you know, further and uh, you'll learn more about aviation, because your license, folks, is just your license to learn. When you get that license, there's a lot more you need to know. And you experience that learning 
experience in the air. Um, a lot of different things change, wind changes, airplane, airplane, uh, airport wind changes, so you gotta do a different pattern work. You, so a lot of things cross when landing. So there's a lot of things you learn as you get your license, um, more and more as you, as you go along the path here. So that's what you have to ask yourself. You have the money and you wanna go complex, there's nothing saying that don't go complex because you don't, you know, you, got, you, should, you should learn how to fly first. Well, you can learn how to fly in anything. I mean, you, you, you know, there's, just, there's no reason for it. You can buy a Harley or you can buy a scooter, you know, you know, or you can buy a sport bike, you can learn on a sport bike or a Harley or a scooter. Whatever you want to do, it's the same thing. The only difference is, is things fly faster, you have gear to worry about. But if you're starting off with a complex right away, that's all going to come natural to you. You're not even going to be able to worry about that. And a lot of questions that I get is the prop. You know, oh my God, how do we forget to do the prop? And, and how hard is it to, folks, it's easy. It's like having a car with a five-speed transmission. You don't want to overspeed, which means you don't want to, you're in fifth gear and you put the prop full forward, you know, in the sky. You're going to overspeed the prop and you can cause a lot of damage and, and pop the engine, actually, if, you, if it's crazy. And I know some guys who do a couple of things by accident and it, it caused some issues. So it's like have, driving a stick shift car. You know, you start out in first gear. As you go up, you know, as you get level, you pull the prop back, you pull the prop back, you pull the prop back. And then your level fright, flight, depending how high you are with the, with the manifold pressure and the RPMs, you know, it, it, it's all how fast you want to go. But the prop is just like having a, 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 a shift car. It's basically the same thing. When you're coming down, you got 25, 25, 25 RPMs, 25 uh, um, um, manifold pressure, and you're, 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 or, you know, or you're cruising and you're going downhill, you know, and you're, you're, you're speeding up pretty fast. You, one thing you don't want to do in a car, you don't want to go from third to first, from fourth to first, from fifth to second. You're going to overspeed those RPMs, and the RPMs are going to go way in the red, and you can potentially blow up your engine in your car. Well. The prop is works the same exact way, in theory, just a little different on the controls. Nothing to worry about. You go with an instructor. You, they'll teach you how to do it. There's things online that shows you how to do it. It's very easy to do, and it's great actually because you can you, you can take off quicker. You get up to level flight. You pull that prop back, and you're cruising. Um, and there's and there's not really any. Um, things holding you back because when you have a when you have a fixed prop it's either a climb prop or a cruise prop a cruise prop prop uh, it takes you a little bit timer a little bit longer to climb but when you get up there uh, you can pretty much go some you know rip it you know full power and go pretty quick a, a climb prop it's pitched up a little bit you can climb out pretty quick once you get up to level flight you're it's it you, you, you you're, you're you know you're not going as fast if you had a cruise prop prop so it, there's a difference. With a constant speed prop, you control the pitch. And that's what's awesome about it. Um, so those are the things that, the questions that I get. Um, and you know, the other questions that I get is the twins to single engine. That's a whole different ball game, folks. A twin is a whole different ball. I don't know how else to explain it to you. It's a whole different ball game. Um, i not interested in a twin. Um, I think I would love to have one in the future, maybe at some point in my life, but probably not because you have to understand it's everything is double. Okay. Everything is double. The annual is probably going to be double, double the engine, double the fuel flow, double, 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 double. So, and a lot of those planes, you can only bring four people also with you unless you get a 421, you know, it, it, it goes on and on. It, listen, aviation go up and go up and could cost you a fortune if you really wanted it to. At that point, you might as well hire a pilot and rent, you know, lease a, a jet at that point. So it can go up as high as anything else can go up. It's like a car. You get a base car to a Ferrari. It's the same thing. Um, but it's twins or it's a whole different animal. If you want to get a twin, there's a bunch out there. I don't know. I don't really know anything about twins. Only thing I know about it, everything is double the price, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, but they're awesome airplanes. They sound great taking off. Uh, that's other questions I have. I went over um, the gallons per hour. Um, you know, other planes are more. And when I did my research, like I said a little bit ago, I put all those in my check boxes. I wanted to make sure, okay, this box is, box is checked, checked, checked. You know, what do I want to get? And it kept on bringing me back to the Mooney for 
a complex airplane. Now, there's some planes out there um, that are fixed gear um, that will get the speeds as a Mooney. Um, you know, it's just you know, it's just what you want to do. What again? What do you want? And what is your goals with aviation? And your goals, you know, with your airplane. Um, but there is fixed gear out there that will go to same speed, burn up a lot more gas. Um, but those are the options that you have in buying an airplane. So yes, if you have the money, okay, buy a complex airplane off the bat, find an, instru an instructor, don't do anything by yourself, okay? Find a good instructor, go over everything with you, you'll never have a problem. They fly like anything else. Okay, so don't be discouraged over the constant speed prop. Don't be discouraged over the gear. If, again, if you forget to put the constant speed prop full in on landing and the mixture full in on landing or, or as required, uh, always put the gear down. The gear has to be down to land or you make everybody else rates go up <laughs> because it's a pool and um, insurance is creeping up because of a lot of accidents over kind of stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, folks, that's all I have for you. Um, any questions you have at all, please email me at pilotfun101 at gmail.com. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. And uh, next video will be coming out soon. Um, I'm kind of was backlogged. I was on vacation, and I have things that I'm working on right now. Um, oh, before I forget, avionics and price. I'm sorry. I have on my sheet here, and I actually... Um, forgot to go over it with you. Price of airplanes are going up, just like anything else right now. Um, and they're going to continue to go up depending on the condition of the airplane, okay? If it needs a whole panel, the paint's three out of 10, the interior, three out of 10, you can get a bargain for those planes. You know, you can get a, you can get a Mooney like mine for Thirty-five thousand dollars, thirty thousand, thirty-five thousand. But remember, folks, you're gonna have to put money into those planes, and I can't stress this enough to my followers, to my friends, whoever's watching this video. Uh, do please do a pre-buy. You must do a pre-buy. Spend the extra thousand to twelve hundred dollars, whatever it might be because the last thing you want to do is skip out on $1,200 $1, and get a lemon. Because it happens, I know people, and it goes a deer again, fighting in the yard. Uh, I live in the woods here, so I get a lot of animals that are fighting. It is what it is. And every time I do a video, I seem like getting a lot of animal noises out there. Um, but yeah, understand, you need to, you need to do a, a pre-buy inspection. You have to, have to, have to do it. You have to do it. There's no, don't be cheap on that. You're buying an airplane. Spend the extra thousand, twelve hundred bucks to do a pre-buy and a good pre-buy. All the panels, all the inspection plates have to come off the airplane. The front has to come off, um, the cowling I should say. The tail comes off. Everything, the interior comes out. If you're buying a Mooney, that little door on the left on the pilot side is a little door to you know, get some air. And uh, if you keep it, if the airplane is tied down, if a Mooney is tied down, typically what would happen is um, the, if it's leaking, the water runs in behind the panel, goes down and sits on the roll cage, okay? Over time, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be rusty. And you have to cut it out, weld it together, and so on and so forth. It's not aluminum, it's metal. So when you do a pre-buy in a Mooney, like again, even any other, any plane, take the whole interior out and take the seats out. Look everything over because corrosion could hide, things can go wrong, and before you know it, you buy a, plane, a cheap plane that needs work, you, put, you bring it to your mechanic, you go through it, and guess what happens? It has corrosion damage, it has this damage, this is wrong, and the plane's totaled. Before you even, before you even flew it, it's totaled. Pre-buy, okay? What I would do, if you have the money, buy a plane that's almost done, okay? When I bought my airplane, the paint was nine out of 10. Interior was nine out of 10. 200 hours on the engine, 17 hours on the prop, 17 hours, uh, I think it was actually, the prop had, yeah, 17 hours. Um, the hub had like 17 hours. It was in great condition, uh, no corrosion. I had Moira from Aviation take the whole damn thing apart, literally everything apart. It cost me $1,500 to do a pre-buy because I wanted it done right. Um, and I worked out a deal with the owner, we split it, it was, it was fine. Um, 
you gotta do it. And I was like, you know what? It was a great buy, everything was done. The only thing I did want to do it, and, and you know, I think I did, the only thing I did want to do was the glass panel route. And it took me three years to save up for a glass panel. Originally was going with Garmin, originally was looking at Aspen, really. And then Dynon came around and Oshkosh three years ago. They've gotten to the certification field and that's in my airplane right now. It's an awesome investment and self-awareness. It's great. I can't, it's, can't complain with my airplane, folks. So price, anywhere from $40,000. Use my M20C Ranger, for example. Anywhere from $35,000, you can go up to about $80,000, okay, depending on the plane. But if you buy one for $40,000 instead of $80,000, how much did it cost you to put it up to snuff? $40,000. <laughs> so you're back up there. So do you want to go through all the nonsense and buying all the stuff and worrying about not having a plane for months and months and months or spend the extra money and getting a plane that's already done, clean, no corrosion, no rust, there's no issues, the engine's great, low overhaul time. That's what you should do um, unless you are a mechanic yourself, then you can buy a plane like that and do work on yourself. But it can cost you a lot of money with labor and getting parts done. Um, but that's the price range. Again, I'm sorry, but any questions, email me at Pilot Funder 101, folks. Thank you so much for the support. Um, Facebook, um, followers on Facebook at Pilot Funder 1 is approaching um, over, over 18,000 followers on Facebook. Thank you, folks, so much for that support. I appreciate that. Um, I try to post as much as I can on there. And next year, I'm thinking June is going to be the Pilot Fun 101 barbecue I had this year at Orange County. Um, hopefully by then, I'm praying by then, the coronavirus stuff kind of goes away so I can use the facility and not a hangar. Uh, so I can have more stuff going on. I'm looking to have live music, um, vendors come out and have a good time for the day. Uh, so stick around, folks. Thank you so much again for the support. Any questions, pilotfun101 at gmail.com and thumbs up if you would like. And also consider subscribing to my channel. Again, that gets me going when I see those subscribers rise and I appreciate the support. Like always, folks, fly safe, be safe. I'll see you guys next time. And remember, always try to live your dream. Don't let anybody tell you different because I was on that road before. See you guys next time. Oh, real quick. I actually... I, believe it or not, I got a couple emails on the ducks I had in my pond. Shoot, probably, I forget how many videos ago it was. It was a while ago. It was earlier in the year. And they said, oh, how are the ducks doing? The babies I had. I had a bunch of babies and they were hiding. And I had, it was a video back. Well, I'm going to show you how my ducks are doing. Hold on one second. Let's just go take a look. They're in the pond right now. So there they are, out in the pond, as you guys can zoom in a little bit, and they're fully grown. So there is actually, there's one over by the bush there, 19 ducks. The original four and plus the babies and some mallards on the other side over there, um, right about there. There is two mallards female and male, those guys can fly, um, but they get fed every day, and there's their feeding spot, and you can see this grass missing, and that's for the deer, uh, the deer like to lick that, but yeah, there they are, so they are healthy and well, um, I go through about 50 plus pounds of food a week to feed all them, and they're spoiled rotten, um, because they know when I'm coming home, and they know everything. And that's just the driveway going down the road there. And of course, the all great American flag. So there are the ducks. I'll see you guys later.